it's Anne from Phil Anderson Cycling Tours, just calling to have a chat to you about your 50th birthday present for this year's Tour de France. Phil Anderson is going to bring to an end the motor roll of the day. They should all in the meeting and have some wins on the line. Two hands in the air. Uh, suddenly there I am on the world stage. For 68 years, the coveted yellow jersey of the three-week Tour de France had only been worn by Europeans. That is until a 22-year-old Australian shocked the continent by being the first non-European in the history to lead one of the biggest sporting events on the earth. Riders are frothing at the mouth and steaming away and the and the crowds are like surging on the side. Uh, you know, you couldn't even see where the road was going. There were so many people. Phil Anderson would wear the yellow jersey for nine days, putting the world on notice that he was going to be one of the greatest cyclists. Uh, they brought out a uh, a map of the world because they didn't know where Australia was. <laughs> but, you know, I was lucky. I was fortunate they still had Australia there. It was very small down the bottom. It was about half the size of France. <laughs> So this is the nerve centre of the Phil Anderson Cycling Tours. We've been feverishly working away the last few days here. So we've got a half dozen guys in there just working maps, working rides. It's going to just take a long time because of the mountains. All the different places we're going to be going to and exploring and so I'm looking at the sightseeing element for predominantly non-riders. The 100th year of the Tour de France, we're planning something very special. We have something very unique. 2013 and that's going to be our own private chartered yacht off the coast of Corsica. We're going to be on there for seven nights, it's going to be fantastic. We range from that a coach tour which covers almost all of France but uh, we have the exclusive Pyrenees tour, we have one Brittany, we have uh, of course through the Alps over Ventoux, we get to ride Ventoux, Alpe d'Huez and finally a uh, two-night package in Paris and what's going to make it really special is never before has a stage in the Tour de France finished under the light. It's going to be finished I think due to finish about 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night followed by a firework spectacular. That's going to be great from our own private seats on the Champs-Élysées. That's probably one of the, the best things about this year is that we get to give our clients all these different options. Tours for non-riders, we have options for uh, following in a bus or in coaches and there's a lot of contact. I'm out there riding, I'm sitting in the bus with you guys, I'm telling the war stories. He, he, he brings to this not just his experience, not just his passion for cycling, but um, his love of sharing the sport. Through 15 years of running tours, we've learned how to really cater to what the guest needs. We have mechanical support, we have medical support, we have guest services in the hotels. We've got a whole team molded around, you know, making sure that everything goes smooth and all your cares are taken care of. For the rider, for the non-rider, you want tourist options, we've got, uh, you know, special diet requirements, people with allergies, we've got to keep away from the from the uh, mustard fields who are always blossoming that time of year. I got to ride 13 Tour de France, finishing every one mind you. During that period I never really got to enjoy France because you're so busy, you're so focused at your job that you never really get to experience what's going on around you. It's a beautiful country we're riding in. We're going all over France. France is such a huge diverse country and now we get to taste, to smell and ride our bikes, which is the best part of it, and I get to share it with, uh, with some wonderful guests. We take care of the majority of your foods, but we don't take care of all of your food because, quite frankly, we're in a beautiful part of France and everyone wants to go out and enjoy some of these regions and the cuisine themselves. It is the 100th anniversary of the Tour de France, so yeah. this doesn't yeah. really come around ever again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's truly a once in a lifetime Sorry. opportunity yeah. to enjoy the tour this year. You'll see them at the top of one of these mountains and they'll be talking about it. They'll be drinking champagne that night, which is just great, just to see the thrill and, and the enthusiasm, which, uh, you know, it's very, that's rewarding for me. Second church is 400 metres away. It gets a bit easier after that. <laughs> Still busy mapping all of our rides for every day for, um, for our groups. I'm busy filling in the itineraries. We've got Alice over there doing all of our marketing collateral. Uh, we've got Jeremy over there confirming our hotels and we've got Annie selling to our clients. So six different packages in the market, five of which are tours for riders and we have a beautiful VIP weekend package in Paris to take in the spectacle of the final stage this year, which has a few surprises in it. A twilight finish rather than a late afternoon finish as per previous years. Alpe d'Huez twice in one day. That's gonna be a real novel stage. I've been up there many times, but the most I've ever done it is uh, once in a day. So I can't imagine doing that twice. 
our tours cater for everybody. We have some of our guests who ride up in sneakers. We have some of our guests who come with a fully carbon fitted $10,000 bicycle. He spent years, 20 years, riding training on the roads in France. And he has this uncanny knack of being able to bring that knowledge, that passion and depth of experience into what we're going to give to you on your trip, on your holiday and your experience of a lifetime. Experience cycling through the eyes of a legend with Phil Anderson Cycling Tours. The Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia, Vuelta a España, the Spring Classics and much more. Thank you.